If there is a good God, why doesn't he stop all the evil in the world? Well, here's a situation in the Old Testament where God says, that's it, we got to stop this. And the atheists are complaining about it. Why is there so much death and violence initiated by God in the Old Testament? Yeah, that's an excellent question. A lot of people think that the God of the Old Testament is different from the God of the New Testament because there seems to be much more judgment in the Old Testament. I think one of the things we forget, if you look at the Old Testament, the Old Testament covers thousands of years of history. The New Testament covers about 62. There's a lot of time to mess up in thousands of years, right? Not a lot of time to mess up in 62. Although, and why I say 62, because generally it goes from Jesus's birth to 62 AD, because I think that's the time that Luke completes the book of Acts, no later than 62 AD. So, of course, Revelation is later, it seems later, but with regard to history, what it's covering, it's covering from Jesus' birth to about 62 AD. And um, the Old Testament does have judgment, but the New Testament has judgment as well, because Jesus says to Caiaphas, when he's on trial, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? And Jesus said, I am, and you will see the Son of Man coming with power on the clouds, which is a reference to judgment coming on Jerusalem. And he said this to Caiaphas. When did he say that? He said that in about 30 AD or 33 AD, and that happened in 70 AD. So that was during the lifetime of Caiaphas that there was judgment that was brought down on Israel and it was judgment that Jesus predicted. Jesus also talks a lot more about hell in the New Testament than uh, the Old Testament talks about it. So there's much judgment in the New Testament as well. Now we could go into specifics of Old Testament judgment if you want to talk about the Canaanites or those kinds or, or Noah even. Sure. But those are judgments based on the idea that people have sinned. And it's up to God when God judges people. Look, if Christianity is true, people don't die, they just change location. They go from this life to the next life, and it's up to God when that happens. God is not arbitrary in the Old Testament. So let's take the Canaanites, for example. Why does God kill the Canaanites? He gives them over 400 years of warnings to move out of the land and stop their detestable practices, but their practices kept getting worse and worse and worse to the point where they were literally sacrificing their children on the molten hot idol known as Molech. Even Solomon did this, by the way, that they would put their babies on the arms of this idol and watch their babies sizzle to death. In fact, Plutarch, who's a Greek writer, not a biblical writer, he's writing about in the first century, and he even talks about this. And he said that the drummers around this sacrifice would play their drums more loudly so the parents couldn't hear the screams of their own children. On every college campus I go to, there is some, someone, some atheist will stand up and say, if there is a good God, why doesn't he stop all the evil in the world? Well, here's a situation in the Old Testament where God says, that's it, we got to stop this. And the atheists are complaining about it. So God says it's time to judge this nation, these people, and he does. So it's judgment, it's not arbitrary. He doesn't wake up like some sort of mob boss one, one morning and say, Canaanites, I want them dead. No, that's not the way it works. He is gracious and he is long suffering. And he knew to get the promised people in the promised land to bring forth the promised Messiah. At some point, he's going to have to have Israel move those people out of the land. And that's exactly what happened.